Hello YouTube family and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes it is, your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. It's Wednesday and y'all can tell it's Wednesday by my pink shirt. On Wednesday at my job, several of us wear pink shirts for breast cancer awareness. So we still do it. Uh, we think it's something good to do and keep people aware of what's going on with uh, breast cancer awareness. Now, with that being said, today is going to be a unique day. I'm cooking. It's my 8.30 break at work, and I'm preparing my lunch now. So I think y'all are going to find this a unique video. Y'all stick around. I think you're going to like it. fam like I said in my intro it's my break time and I have about 10 minutes at the most to prepare my lunch today's lunch is going to be what they call a seafood uh, ceviche now ceviche is and there's several different recipes if you go online but a ceviche is basically onions uh, cilantro tomatoes and a few other ingredients and you take those and you mix them and then you take like an acid a lime juice or grapefruit juice or lemon juice and you use that the uh, acid in the juice to cook your fish today's fish is going to be an Atlantic salmon so if y'all know anything about my channel I'm lazy and you will rarely see me taking tomatoes and onions and things of that nature and cutting them up to put them in a recipe. My go-to item, and you'll see this in several of my uh, the recipes if you've been following me for a while, is pico de gallo. Now right here I have a mild pico and I have a hot pico. Now if you look up the ingredients in a pico de gallo, there are onions, tomatoes, cilantro, and the only thing that you're really missing from a pico for a seafood uh, ceviche is avocado. A lot of people use avocado in their ceviche. So I have an avocado and I have three limes. So what I'm gonna do is use my 10 minute break to cook, prepare my uh, ceviche. I'm gonna take these, dump them into my collapsible camping bowl. Since, I, whoa, since I'm in my Jeep, we're gonna cut up my fish, put it in it. We're gonna take my uh, lime. We're gonna squeeze the juice of about two limes on that. We're gonna cover it up and put it in my Apricot refrigerator. At lunch, when I come back, I'll take my avocado, cut it up, put it over the top, and it's a wrap, it's lunch. So. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead, dump my both packets of my uh, hot pico de gallo in my bowl, cut up my fish. We're gonna cover it up and put it in the refrigerator and we're done until 11.30 lunch. I'll be right back. Like I said, fam, we gotta learn to keep these things simple. I think a lot of times, and nothing against my fellow YouTubers, but I think sometimes they go through the process of cutting up tomatoes and bell peppers and onions just to show y'all the long way, kind of like math. They teach you the long way to do math, then you go out and use a calculator. Well, this is my calculator. If somebody's already done the hard work, and most of the stuff is fresh, they keep it in their cooler maybe a day at my local supermarket. So this is fresh cut, and you probably can even ask to have it freshly cut up. So I simply take my mild pico de gallo, dump it in my bowl, and for a lot of people that would be enough. For me, for lunch, matter of fact, I don't know if I should even use, I think I'm gonna use half of the hot to give it just a little bit of kick. I lost my line there, we we'll pick it up. That's gonna help soften it up, hitting the ground like that. We're gonna use half of the hot, boom. Now we're gonna open up my fish. Pat my fish off. Now we're gonna slice that up into some chunks. 
All right, fam, as y'all can see, I decided to go ahead and pull that skin off because there's no way that that lime juice is going to cook that skin. So, and that makes sense. Y'all can tell this is the first time I've tried this. I've eaten a uh, hundred, I've eaten ceviche a hundred times, but it's the first time I cooked it. And I said in previous videos, I like to oftentimes try first things with y'all, and we do it as a family. All right, fam. I think that is enough. That's going to be a big lunch. I don't know. I guess I got the rest of it. We might as well use it, huh? All right, fam. Now for the lime. That's about the only way to get all that juice out of the lime. Just be careful, don't cut yourself. But you gotta get down in there and soften this thing up, especially if it's a fresh lime and it's still solid. It hadn't aged in at all. All right, fam. I'm gonna get in there with our hands, mix that up. We're gonna let the acid of the lime juice do its thing. We're gonna cover this with some of the aluminum foil. All right, fam, we're gonna cover that up. Take one more look at that. Now that acid is going in the lime juice is going to cook that fish. And at lunch, I'm going to leave it in my refrigerator. That'll be 8:30, 9:30, 10:30, 11 11:30 for about three hours. That's going to be perfect. And once again, fam, if y'all watch my video on this Apple Cool refrigerator, this is one of the coolest purchases I've ever freaking made. I love this thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and shut that down. We're going to go back here and clean up our mess, figure out what we're going to do with our fish residue. And I'll see y'all back here in three hours at lunch and see what we got. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be back. Fam, I'm not just saying this. And I'm calling this parking lot ceviche and i'm not just saying this because i created this this is really good and if you had restaurant style ceviche this is actually competitive comparative to any ceviche i've had in uh restaurants i put it in the uh i use my uh pico de gallo already cut up onions I already cut up cilantro. I already cut up tomatoes. Oh, you know what I didn't add? I forgot my freaking avocado. Y'all hold on. It's good without the avocado. Stand by. Man, as I was, uh, hold on. As I was naming off the freaking ingredients, I thought about the avocado. And I had forgot to add me a little avocado to my mix. 
Oh yeah, just right avocado. Now what I'll do with the other half of that avocado, you gotta be careful with avocados cause you know if I eat too much of that, I'm gonna spend the rest of my work day in the bathroom. But the way most people do the avocados, if y'all can see that, cut it, cut it. And this one's a little too soft for it to work that way. But they usually cut it in the slices and the cubes. Then you take a spoon or whatever, and you can go under that thing. What I'm gonna do is just go under with the knife. And boom, there's your chunks, if y'all can see that. Boom. Perfect. I didn't think it was gonna work. Excellent. Now, let's stir that avocado up in there and go in for round two. I'm wondering if I should have come out here a little bit earlier, maybe a half hour earlier, put the avocado in and let it soak up some of the, uh, the uh, citrus, some of the fish flavor, but I don't think so. I think the avocado should go in at the very end, right before you're getting ready to eat. Oh, uh, look, that's a big chunk of fish. If you like some beach, you're gonna like this. Mmm. Could use a little more salt. I got high blood pressure, so I shouldn't be doing a lot of the salt, but hey. And fam, there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all this, just like I said earlier. This is a lot. All right, fam. To recap, I took my Pico de Gallo, which you can buy at most supermarkets in the produce section. It comes in a container. You got to put, uh, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, a few other ingredients already chopped up, ready to go, and it's fresh. Take that, dump it in a bowl. Put your seafood in, whether it be, you know, flounder fish or shrimp or whatever. Cut it up, add it to your ingredients. Put a large, a moderate amount of citrus, whether it be lemon juice, uh, grapefruit juice, something as acidic. Grapefruit juice, and I use fresh from a fresh lime, but you probably could use it bottled as well. You pour that on, cover it, put it in the refrigerator for three or cooler for uh, about three, four hours. Let that uh, citrus cook your seafood, and there you have it, fam. I got a nice semi healthy lunch. Uh, it's enough for two or enough for two different meals. So, family. It's the holiday season. This may be something that you consider fixing for your family. Those guests that come in early for Thanksgiving or for Christmas and they want something quick, a little light snack. This may be something to consider. It takes about 10 minutes prep time, three hours in the refrigerator, something nice and not too heavy to go to bed on or eat for lunch. So family, if this video has been helpful, as usual, give it a thumbs up. And if not, give her a thumbs down and a brief reason why in the comment section. And if you love what we're doing here, this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. It's your boy Rosie. Y'all have a great day, a great week, and a great rest of this 2020. Peace.